Wow. Now to witness any day is amazing. But to see a brand new year, not just a brand new year, a brand new decade begin, that is something extra special. Yes, the year 2020 has finally arrived. And it's gonna be a great time. I can already feel the possibilities and they are endless. Now this is an opportunity for you to get started again, to press refresh. Yes, set your goals to work and work towards achieving them. It might comfort you to know that we have every plan to be with you right here all through the year. My name is Titilaya Oyinson, and of course, uh, the team are getting set for the most fantastic New Year's edition of Wake Up Nigeria. Now, you need to follow us live as we stream. That's on tvcentertainment.tv and of course on Facebook Live at TVC Connect. Send in those comments as soon as you can with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Now, uh, social media is already agog with hashtag Happy New Year messages. We want you to add our own hashtag too. That's Wake Up Nigeria on TVC so we can see your messages and hopefully read them out sometime during the show. Make sure you have our app. In 2020, that app is essential for your mobile devices. Use it, uh, get it from any Android or iOS store. Watch us on your devices from anywhere in the world. And guess what? You're going to travel this year. Hey, you are going to be having fun this year. You need us to come along with you. Speaking of travel, we're going to be giving you some nice destinations you should be planning for very, very soon in just 180 seconds. And uh, well, hey, Mr. Wokwe is looking very dapper in the kitchen there. Happy New Year, Mr. Wokwe. <laughs> ah, thank you so much, uh, Tizi. I, uh, I slipped in through the back. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. No, so, you didn't. You came in the right way into 2020. Yeah, so 2020 is here. I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I've had a little sleep. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So, uh, you know, forgive me. If uh, I'm, I'm expecting gone. some but prayers I, now. But I'm going to warm up a little bit. Oh, no, no. We'll, we'll take our prayers. We'll take our prayers really? shortly. Shortly? Uh, yeah, shortly? very okay. shortly. All right. Shortly. No wala. No wala. No wala. Let's take uh, what we have in the highlights. Of course, we're all about the music on Wake Up Nigeria. And we're going to be having rapper and singer Cousins Dave bringing us our first musical performance for the new year. And then uh, we're going to move things along with uh, a home makeover where Anita Ikiata Umumere will be telling us all about the importance of light, lighting in interior design. Wow. Mm -hmm. Lighting is really important. The light uh, type of light. For us in the television business, it's, it's really key mm -hmm. uh, in what we do. And of course, nutrition is back this year. We'll be talking to the CEO of Splash Greens and we'll be focusing on weight loss after the festive season. <laughs> yes. Back to the gym food, for many people, yeah. All that uh, junk food that we've been eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to get back in shape. <laughs> now, as we go into the new year, Oinda Malash Yodera will be joining us on Relationships this morning uh, to discuss how to set emotional goals. Wow. So I, I, I'm wondering what that means, like... Emotional goal. I'm not going to get my heart broken this year. <laughs> okay. Something like that, you know? Or yeah. I'm going to love more this year. Oh, okay. Or I'm going to give of myself more this year. I don't know, we'll find out when she gets it. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to allow people to cheat me. Anyway, yeah, so we'll be looking at 2020 goals, mm -hmm. uh, but specifically in the area of your emotions. And lastly, we're going to have the galactic duo from Houston, Texas, and they're going to be giving us a musical performance and we'll get to chat with them after that. So happy, happy new, new year. year. Happy new year, elders. Ah, wow. Really? <laughs> See how you're starting your own year. Yes, I'm starting my year taking with, with control. A, uh, taking control. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's it's, it's all about having wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes, oh, wisdom yeah. that is profitable to direct. Uh, uh, okay. See who went to church last night? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wisdom <laughs> that's profitable to direct. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes, so yeah, the knowledge um, part, uh, now there's a lot of knowledge that comes from age experience. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like the last decade was very knowledgeable. Mm. It's taught a lot of people a lot of different things. 
very important. Uh, you, you know what the Bible says. Mm. Yeah, mm. I have to go there. But um, <laughs> a man of knowledge increases strength. Mm. Okay. So if you're going to do anything this year, 2020, one of the key things that should happen is for you to increase knowledge. Because once you increase knowledge, then you increase your capacity to earn more. Uh, you increase your capacity to engage with people more, you know, on, on intelligent conversations and new opportunities open for you. So knowledge is one of the key things that, All right. that you require this year. So that understanding part, I don't know, I've always been on the fence about that understanding part. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I won't lie. Um, wisdom say, is a principal thing. Yes. I know yes. you're getting, getting understanding. <laughs> well, understand. Yeah, see, yeah, so, I also passed your me this thing. Yeah. So <laughs> no. 2020, ah, your me has been on this train where, a long don't time. Don't worry, Dickiness talk by 2020. Wow. Okay. Uh, well done, ma. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, but that's also, also a form of knowledge, you know, spiritual authority, you know, understanding um, yourself and how, how you came to be on this mm. earth yeah. and, you know, who created you. Having that understanding is also very key to, to, to me, in, in my opinion, to long life. Mm. Um, and yes, learning about how to deal with other people. Emotional intelligence is something I want to improve on yeah. in the new year. 2020, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, so, so lots mm. of people. Um, of course, you saw everybody wishing doing. So every like every hour mm. from eight p.m. Mm -hmm. yeah. every hour till I think this morning mm -hmm. actually, uh, probably eight eight a.m. today. You're going to be wishing someone happy, happy new year, year in a particular country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and I think the furthest uh, is probably Hawaii or something mm, like that. Yeah. So it's coast to coast or well yeah. from east to west or whatever. So. <laughs> You know, so it's important because, you know, um, that's also how you know that for different people, a new year means something different for them. So some people go to church. Some yeah. people are having a, maybe a, like a family gathering. Other yeah. people are having, are in a party. Yeah. You know, so different things. And so it means different, different things to different people. Some people don't, don't care, couldn't care less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For instance, the Chinese, it's not yeah. even their new year. Yeah, it's not, yeah, <laughs> so it's not the Chinese new year. You, yeah. you understand? So really, that's also why tolerance is important. You're talking about uh, emotional intel intelligence. So that when you understand that somebody has another kind of religion, somebody has another kind of culture, mm. then it's also easy for you to be able to relate with them on their own level. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about the fact that in 10 years' time mm -hmm. from now, it'll be, what, 2030? Mm. So what is our vision 2030 going to be like? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm excited like that really? in this decade, I'm going <laughs> to get married, I'm going to be a mom, and I'm going to that. be an adult. Oh, you're already an adult. No, 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 please don't hurry me. You're please. already an adult. Please, I'll be an adult when I'm 30. <laughs> you're, no longer, you're no longer a teenager, so uh, essentially. Is it your adulthood? It's wow. My own. I choose when I'm that aware, shit Are you aware has that sailed. if you commit a serious crime, you can go to prison? No. Like in actual prison. <laughs> no, nope. I would argue it with them. Be juvenile, it will not be a juvenile home. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll be going right. to an actual prison. Anyway. Well, we're going to head straight to the news update now. Ibrahim, it's all yours. Compliment of the season to you guys. It's good to be here with you guys, you know, these Happy very new first year. day. Same to you, Titi <laughs> and Co. Well, new, re new resolutions is just flying in the air, but so many people are already breaking it even before they start. The national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has charged Nigerians not to allow past difficulties to deter benefits of greater future. Tinubu made the call in his New Year message to the nation. In Abuja, many churches are holding services as they pray their uh, way into the prosperous 2020. The New Year came early for this church, which held its crossover service from 6 to 9 p.m. It says the significance given to the time for crossover may not be necessary and would rather be worshippers uh, focus on God. And the congregation is happy with this arrangement. <laughs> Christ, which is what we all are supposed to be doing, instead of in things and significance, not like those things are not really important, but the, the, the problem happens when people begin to take their faith off Jesus 
and the word of God and putting in other things. It means that um, we are just like ahead of every other person. So we crossed into the new year three hours before every other person. And for me, it's spiritually, the implication is um, we are ahead above every other person. So we are going further, we are going faster. Some countries are actually 7 a.m. already. I think it's in um, Christmas Islands. So, but I think beyond that, um, preparation takes place before the day of battle. And it's very important that we are prepared even before that very day. So we don't have to wait till 12 midnight to be there. We are in another time zone, apart from other people. So it's, it's still, at the end of the day, we've crossed over either way. Whether it's 12 o'clock, whether it's 6 o'clock. At least people in Australia and the Far East. Interesting. Now for the first time in seven years, a Christian crossover service is taking place in my degree, Bruno State. People have found it difficult gathering for this kind of service due to insecurity caused by Boko Haram's insurgency. The re relative peace in the city has emboldened them to come out, worship and cross over into the new year. Vacation Judge Justice Uthman Musa of the FCT High Court has referred the case file of the former Attorney General of the Federal uh, Mohamed Adoke to the uh, Chief Judge of the FCT High Court Justice Ishak Bello. The Federal Capital Territory High Court said it will return the case file involving the former Attorney General of the Federation to the Chief Judge of the Court after the expiration of the 14 days allowed for, the Ado for Mr. Adoke's detention. The presiding judge said this after hearing a bill application brought by Mr. Adoke's lawyers. The court had allowed an ex parte application for Mr. Adoke's detention by the anti graft agency on the 20th of December, a day after Mr. Adoke arrived in Nigeria. The order which is to expire uh, by 2nd of January, the judge decided to return the case file after Mr. Ibinoy explained that although they had their application for Mr. Adoke's bill, they needed time to respond to counter applications brought by the EFCC, which was served on 31st of September. As you are aware, we have uh, the former Attorney General Adoke, Mohamed Bello Adoke, in our custody, and uh, there are pending criminal charges against him. His lawyers applied to the court for bail, and uh, the matter came up today. Our position was that uh, there is a pending court order remanding him with the EFCC. It has not expired. Bail ought not to be granted under the circumstances. Uh, he will continue to remain with us. We'll continue to interview him. We'll continue to investigate the matter. That's the impact, that's the effect. Owners of the affected shops in Karakatlu market, uh, market Fire are still counting their losses. Eyewitnesses say investigation is ongoing on the cause of the inferno, which did not affect the flow of traffic as wrongly reported on social media. Olawakon reports. This is Kara Katu Market, an outskirt of Ogun State, sharing boundary with Lagos. Fire engulfed this section at about 10 a.m., according to eyewitness. It also raised more than 10 shops with some property. I was standing here when I saw the smoke. I called the attention of everyone to it. Nobody knew how the fire started, but investigation is on to know the cause. Six hours after the fire had been put out by the Lagos State Fire Service, evidence of what transpired still persists as shop owners are still picking the pieces of what used to be their means of livelihood. So, uku. Fire has destroyed all my property and I could not get anything out of it. If the owner of this car had known that it will be raised beyond recognition, he would not have brought it to the market. You buy the car. Car? Okay. Hey. After the give car, we don't buy the back. Okay. The, uh, okay. the, uh, that three car, not be two, not be one. That three, that one. Uh, Affected shop owners say firefighters came in promptly to put out the fire. They want the government to assist them. Our property have been destroyed. We need support from the government. 
Kara Market is one of the major cattle markets in Ogun State, sharing boundary with Lagos. A day to the new year, sales by affected shop owners would have been greatly affected by this inferno. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Kara, Ogun State. And that's it on the news update for this hour. It's time to let you know what the weather will be like today. Hello and Happy New Year once again. We're about to give you some updates with regards to traffic and give you some tips on the best route for you to take this morning to get to your destination faster. Now, we're always encouraging you to help other road users by dropping all the relevant traffic situation reports you can find on our social media pages. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Now, the road from Ibadan to Lagos, that's where I'm starting from today because... That seemed to just pop up on the screen as soon as I opened up the app. Uh, now, it seems that it's a two-hour, nine-minute journey from Ibadan to Lagos right now with the major tension around, um, well, just before New Garage is where the tension seems to ease. But if you're heading to Bega bus stop from Ibadan, uh, you're going to be slowed down around uh, Opik, around Rainbow area, all the way through Sherry Oke, all those areas are locked down right now. So you might want to either chill a little or maybe get on the road right now, depending on what your plan is for the rest of the day. But just note that all across the new bridge until you get to Bega, there is quite a bit of a holdup uh, happening right now. And it's important for some people to note that, you know, hey, a lot of people are coming from services uh, some people are going out, some people are preparing for celebrations today. You know, all sorts of things are happening. Please take care on the roads as you make your way back into Lagos. Uh, Yomi and Tokwe are in the kitchen, hopefully with a few tweets to share. Yeah, okay, well, not, not tweets. Uh, I just have a few, uh, a few traffic uh, reports here uh, from different locations uh, in Lagos. So the Oshodi Isolo uh axis has some traffic uh, at some of the major bus stops i'm not sure what's happening there it's probably uh, maybe trailers or trucks or something like that but for a stretch of about uh a kilometer and a half you have from new garage to yano itire uh, industrial estate mechanic village binaton ilasa maja across all that axis it's busy right now so it looks like there's only one lane that people can can pass through so that's, uh, I'm not sure why that is the case, but it's New Year's Day and it really shouldn't, shouldn't be busy. But that's, that's what I'm seeing uh, where, that's what I'm seeing right here. Probably maybe on, on social media later on, we'll find out what's happening there. And also uh, the access towards Echo Bridge. Remember, there's only one lane that you can use there. Uh, there's, uh, because of the trucks and the trailers that are parked uh, along that access. So that's, that's what I have here. I don't know if Tokwe has... Uh, any updates for us? Uh, well, nothing special on Twitter. I'm sure it's because of the holidays, but just mm. um, normal traffic routes from um, Aja to Victoria Island. To be honest, this is the fastest I have seen. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually going to go on, <laughs> onto that route myself. This is myself. the fastest I have seen, but I would let Titi take mm. that. But something I learned this morning the hard way. So I was coming to work and I forgot that the Lekki Tolls began their... They had, um, oh, what's goodness. this thing this morning? Uh, the no cash. The no cash. So no cash please, 
do, do the cashless policy. Do not be like me. Remember to go and activate your tags or however it is you're doing it so yeah. you don't get there and have to go back. So do so that. So it was enforced? It was enforced. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Today is the first. I thought I would have like an early riser. <laughs> Ellie Riser discount. Didn't wow. Ellie Riser discount. You didn't smile. You didn't no, smile I enough. I didn't smile enough. <laughs> so I've winked at the guy that I blocked yeah. so far. Oh, wow, They've wow, been wow. sending <laughs> up those um, notices for yes. over a month now. So for those of you making your way through the Leki Koi toll, as Tokwe said, don't be like Tokwe. Don't be like me. <laughs> Please uh, get your tags updated if you know that's a route you pass through. Uh, regularly uh, but the route f she mentioned earlier between Aja and Bonnie Camp as she said it is the fastest I have ever seen 29 minutes mm. yes. from Aja bus stop to Bonnie Camp bus that's basically the last bus stop VI <laughs> <laughs> like the yeah. edge of VI it's gonna take you 25 29 minutes to get across that to just go east wow. <laughs> wow. and that just feels almost unbelievable uh, but don't don't um, you know? Don't take that for granted. And speed. Yeah. Uh, we're not asking you to you know go past your speed limit. There are some pockets of you know traffic here and there. Imagine that at little places uh, where obviously churches and and the like uh, church gatherings, uh, well events are happening, and it just shows a little bit of yellow in some spotty places. But yeah. I don't think it's that bad at all. Mm. So if you're making your way from anywhere to anywhere right now. It seems like the roads are looking good. I'm yeah. heading into the kitchen to find out what's up and about on this January 1st. All the major roads are, are looking good. Uh, again, I'm not sure what's happening on a Papa Road. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, even, even on New Year's Day, it just looks like uh, the, the guys in that area are just yeah, always sliding. going through something. It's 2020, guys. Let's, 2020. Let's do better. Oh, yeah, but there's a promise that that road will finally be finished. The Apapa Shodi Express Amen. will finally be finished in 2020. In 2020. So they didn't give like any month in particular. Just 2020. 2020. We have 12 months in 2020. Exactly. So even if they mm. finish on December t uh, 31st. Mm. It's still 2020. So, uh, wow. New Year's resolutions. Are you know? we really so doing much. this? So the I resolution have thing? Well, I'm, what I'm, not asking you, I'm not asking you what your New, new oh, Year's why? resolutions are because mm. I don't make um, oh, I was going to say, I tell you for free. Mm, you oh, no, no, I just, I just, yeah, so you plan, mm. and then, so the good areas, you ramp them up. Mm. And then the areas are not so good, you tone them down. Okay. You, you get, so that's, mm. that's really how, um, mm. how I try. So ramp up the good areas, see how much more you can do there. Yeah. Be more productive, be more effective in this area, be more engaging, like just diff different things like that. So. Yeah come more into that. So I've been looking at things I do not want to do in 2020. Are you about to give us a list? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, Instagram is very good for that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But uh, there are a lot of motivational quotes and things like do that going around um, online. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a good time to actually read some of them. Oh, okay. you know, you have, you have um, <laughs> yeah, there are quite a few. Uh, okay, so it's, it seems to have gone off my story now. Yeah. But um, there are lists and people taking bullet points and notes yeah. and some people just ignore them but the people that write these things you don't know what those people have been through <laughs> what these people have come out of um in in the past year and yeah. things like i will drink less i will eat less yes. i will work out more i will you know focus on family more mm. i will be more productive i will not procrastinate that procrastination thing is crazy um yeah. because a whole year could literally go by yeah. And what you had planned for in January just doesn't happen. Mm. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's a major cause of, for regret for a lot of people. And yeah. we're hoping no regrets this year. Okay, so I'll tell you guys something that happened. Mm. So I told myself that 2020, mm. I will lose weight. Ooh, okay. And then speaking about procrastination, that's what reminded me. So yesterday, <laughs> I left the salon and I told my taxi that I was, he should take me to the gym. Okay. Oh, straight to, to the gym. Oh. I wanted to go register. <laughs> so, so we headed to the gym and then you know we just passed my estate gate and then I start thinking, but talk where really as it are you are you really fat? As it, as it, did you are you really fat? There are really fat people out there. Just so you know guys, I saved the gym money. <laughs> I went home. Okay, so I will try. You yeah, try. but you know the gym is not the only way. You can yeah, I would. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm already um, signed up for a diet program. A diet pro but I actually uh. wanted to, you know, <laughs> physically yeah. engage in. So, but so with a diet program mm -hmm. though, um, 
So are you going to mix that with exercise? Yes, that or was the plan. So that was what I was going to say. Yeah. It's, it shouldn't be about losing weight. It should be about keeping fit. Fit. No, I want to lose Because there was a, a young lady I, I met, uh, and I met her on the staircase uh, in a building that had like about three flights. I'm not going to say where. And I was hopping up the stairs, and she was like... <sighs> <laughs> like yeah. trying to crawl and she was way slimmer she was like a size 12 or 10 12 mm. oh wow and she couldn't climb the stairs, the stairs without panting oh mm. okay and, and i was fits. hopping up and i was holding a handbag and another bag and i was hopping up and i was like hi bye <laughs> you know so i, I, wow, I felt a lot fit. Much. <laughs> Because I was like, yeah, in Yoruba, they say, well, yeah. you're, you're, you're young, you're, you, you're slim, you should be fit. So I think focusing on having a, um, a more... Keeping fit. Yeah. If it's by that one, outlook. then I'm fit. But <laughs> baby girl needs okay. to do some weight. Okay, so speaking about what to do, there's oh, yeah. this one I saw yesterday and I did save it. And mm. good thing I'm going to share with you guys. <laughs> so it says, in 2020, donate at least one pint of blood. Mm. Pint of blood? Pint of blood? Okay. okay. Pint, yeah. Pint. yeah. Mm -hmm. Secondly, get vaccinated. Mm. Third, for, for, as okay. a girl, there are many vaccinations that you can okay, do. Just, I'm, just I'm, so, I'm so team cervical cancer <laughs> vaccination. Girls, okay. you need to go get that. It's very, very important. Mm. Okay. Okay. Next, do a pap smear. Mm. Next, get at least one medical checkup. Okay. In the whole, whole of 2020. <laughs> Lose a pop belly. Uh. Lose extra weight. Get health insurance. Get more sleep. Drink more water. Mm. Drop the smoking habits. Cut down the alcohol. Okay. okay. And mind okay. you. Yeah. So, so, so some good, some good, yeah, so some yeah. good things mm. that, that you can. Okay. So that. So why why I like that list mm -hmm. is because there are things that you can start with baby steps. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So for instance, if you drink a lot, let's say yeah. maybe five days a week you're out with the boys and you're mm. drinking, 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 you can mm. cut back. Yeah. Instead of saying, no, I'm this year my New Year's resolution is no, no alcohol. Yeah. Just and then you go a week, two weeks, and <laughs> then by the third week you're binging. So, but if you say um, five days in a week, Monday to Friday, or, um, five more, working more days, realistic. you can say, you know what, I'm going to take out two days, or I'm going to take yeah. out three days. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so, that, so baby steps will yeah. allow you to meet your goals over the long term yeah. than for you to do something that you can't I'm going to say something about the health check thing on your list. Yeah. The health checks are so important. There yeah. are some people that um have you know didn't see 2020 just because they didn't go for a random health check yeah. i know about someone or the story i read about someone who could have just gone to check their teeth and would have saved their life mm. oh, wow. um so they, they yeah exactly so um there's there are so many health plans out there hmos that are doing very very minimal health plans where you can go to a medical facility mm -hmm. and do a regular checkup at least once a quarter Mm. Once every three yeah. months, just go check everything out. Do a blood test. Don't be afraid of going to see the doctor. And drink water. Drink water. Mm? It's really important. <laughs> that water yeah. thing. And you see, deal. there's something they do alongside drinking water. Mind your business. It's such a hard thing for Nigerians to do. What do you mean? Mind your business. Oh, okay. Like, don't <laughs> put your nose in people's business. 2020, oh, wow. tell yourself, I will not die if I mind my business. Please. Mind don't your die. business in 2020. That, mind that's your good business. Hmm. When so baby steps. Baby steps are really hmm. Minding your business. For, uh, for losing pot bellies, though, that's a tough because one because you know you're not in that regard well yeah but Proud you, much? <laughs> losing pot bellies are, are pretty tough and and that's because you know i've had uncles i've had friends who they were actually doing a lot of work putting in a lot of effort but it wasn't showing oh yeah why was it showing because uh, pot bellies are tough oh wow you know okay. you, grow, you can grow a pot belly over 10 years or 15 years uh, so you yeah. can't just tell me that over six weeks I'm just going to lose it. The same way you grow a pregnancy in nine months and you expect <laughs> to have a flat belly in two months. Yeah, For so some people, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Took me six years to get to this level, y'all. Well, baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> yeah. baby One steps. day at a time and you get there. Now, for the first music of the year, I have Cousins Dave, who is a rapper and a singer. Cousins Dave, this is your name, Cousins. Are you your, your own cousin? Yeah, it's actually in a group. In a group? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, from a group. You, you've yeah. formed cousins. Yeah. Oh, so you all are cousins? Yeah, me and my cousin. Yeah, your cousin. Oh, now that makes sense. So what are you yeah. performing for us this morning? Um, the Way. Sorry? The Way, The Way. The Way. So yeah. when, when did you release it? Um, that was 20, 2017. 
2017. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how many songs have you released since you started um, your career? About six to seven songs. Oh wow, this is as far yeah. back as when? Yeah, 17. Oh, 2017, six yeah. to seven. Oh, that's, yeah. that, that means you've had a very fast growing career. Mm. Tell us a bit about that. Not really, but still pushing. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that place I really want to, but I know with time. You would definitely yeah, get yeah, there. So sure. is there anybody you're looking forward to collaborating with? Yeah, definitely. A whole lot of people. Okay, who are you yeah. looking forward to most? Like um, this 2020? My name's Sick. Dave. Yeah. Oh, Davido. Yeah, yeah, Okay, Davido. okay. We're going to pray for you on that one. All right. <laughs> and you know what? Let me let you blow us away All and right. give us our New Year vibe. All right, thanks. You see me walking on the streets, it's talking so loud, I want disrespect. Ay, ay. Cause when I come out with the money, how you gonna get vexed? Ay, ay. I wanna hop on the bands and sweat. Ay. I be the one to stand for the back. Yeah, cousins, I like that. I like that little bit of trap in there. I would have liked to speak with you about some of your music, but anyway. That'll be for later. How you doing, sir? Happy New Year to you. Same this to is you. Chef KD Prime. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Nice, yeah, to, nice, nice to see nice, you again. Nice. You look, look very ready for this, <laughs> for this new year. Anyway, I'm, I'm looking at a, a nice spread here. Lots of spices. Yes. First. So let me just go over the spices and then maybe you tell us what, what this is all about. <laughs> so I'm seeing parsley flakes. I don't know what they are. Okay. I'm seeing marjoram leaves. I don't know what that is. Pure ground sage. Is that a leaf? Sage is a leaf. Okay. And then uh, pure ground allspice, so everything in, in one. Paprika, ground coriander. Uh, is this salt? That's salt. Okay, salt. Um, vegetable oil. Yes. And flour. Yes. Baking powder. Yes. Evaporated milk. Yes. Uh, mustard. Yes, Dijon mustard. Okay, because, yeah, I'm wondering about the color. <laughs> and then this thing right here. Yes. It's black. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that is my oracle. Hmm. Oracle. <laughs> Oricha. <laughs> Oricha. Anyway, so talk to us about um, what we're doing okay. in the kitchen today. Okay. What we're doing is savory pancakes with southern fried chicken mm. and Orisha. <laughs> Orisha is a spicy... Chili infused, dry chili infused pancake syrup. Oh, are you serious? So, since so you this guys. This is actually have, pancake syrup. Yes, it is. Since so you guys African have honored me yeah. by calling me here to, for <laughs> breakfast, I am honoring you with a ah. righteous breakfast. Okay, That's so, different. Okay, so, I'm, not, I'm wondering, I, 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 I've made pancakes before, and it's usually just straightforward for, for, for me. I get out the pancake mix, it's already mixed. I pour water, a little bit of sugar eggs and I just fry so but tell us what's going to happen here today first things first after today you will not buy the pancake mix anymore. <laughs> thank you thank you for that uh, so, so where, where, where do I get flour though like from the open market you can buy from it's cheaper in the open markets mm. but it's not as refined right, but all okay. of the main supermarkets have packaged flour that is absolutely fantastic Properly refined. Really Properly good. refined. Okay, okay. So I'm also seeing a contraption here. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, because this that, is Urisha's big brother. You said pancakes, <laughs> and I'm seeing uh, this. It looks like something from Back to the Future. Yes. <laughs> Which was it? in the past. Yeah. So <laughs> what are we going to do? So this do? is my deep fryer. Oh, okay, okay. To do the chicken properly, mm. it has to be deep fried. That way you get the crunchiness and then the inside of the chicken is so moist and succulent. Mm. Because it's a, it's a dish that, it sounds like I said, it sounds simple. Mm. It's actually my riff on chicken and waffles. Right. Because right. I don't have a waffle maker, but don't <laughs> yeah. tell them. Oh, yeah. I told them already. <laughs> <laughs> so every note, every aspect of the dish balances out. Mm. The moistness of the chicken and the deep down savoriness of the chicken. Yeah. The breading on the outside of the chicken, then you now take it into the pancake. The pancake is savory, it's not sweet. The pancake is... I mean, it's it, the umami inside the pancake marries with the chicken. Oh man, this and guy! The <laughs> this guy! And this guy the is syrup. from London. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> uh, the, uh, this is this is the kind of thing you need on, on New Year's Day. It's a, it's a, like a family thing. So I want you guys to join us. Uh, hopefully, if you have maybe like all or half of this in your kitchen this morning, join us. 
and uh, maybe send us a photograph <laughs> at some point if you're keeping up uh, with what uh, Chef KD is doing. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, first we're going to, uh, of course, we're going to be sorting out the water and other things uh, soon. But how do we uh, begin this whole process? You are going to break some eggs for me. Yes, I will. <laughs> I'm always very hands-on in so the kitchen. So I brought this uh, cup for you. Oh, okay. Okay. I need two eggs broken in there. Uh, hmm. I hope I don't ah. do a kitchen disaster. Okay. I always carry a tool. <laughs> So okay, you can okay, use so I this. can use this. But Ooh, I'll nice. show you an easy way to, to crack an Take egg. the egg, a nice firm tap, and that's it. I can do that. Okay, so wait, wait, let me try. Let me try. Because this this weapon of mass like. destruction. <laughs> okay, so nice tap on the side. Yeah. Firm. Firm. That's it. So the idea is you don't want to break the egg all the way through. Yeah. Aha. That there you way, go. and when you tap it like that, you don't get eggshells inside the inside, egg. Inside, yeah. So firm tap. Yeah. Can you see that? Firm tap. One firm tap, and then split it. Oh! <laughs> I can hear people laughing at me. No, they you were people. chuckling. Oh, they were chuckling. Okay, <laughs> okay so yeah. Okay. So once that is done, so. So the idea, the the best way to do pancakes, you get your dry ingredients, mix them together first. Mm. So I'm going to use you again. Yeah. So we have our flour in the bowl. Yeah. A bit of salt. A little I'm bit of salt. eyeballing this. A little bit of salt in the flour. Yes. And then. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. So you're gonna start with the seasonings while I do the other dry ingredients. Okay. So okay. add yeah. dashes of this in here. Okay. So dashes, a little bit of dash yeah. of each one yeah. in there. So while I'm getting ready to do all of that, we're gonna take a quick break. Now this guy is a pro. Keep an eye on everything that we're doing and then give us some feedback later on after this. Possibilities that this brand new year holds. Yeah, from Wake Up Nigeria, we are wishing you a happy new year. 2020 is finally here. Yes, indeed. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you, we appreciate you, we love you. Thank you for tuning in. It's going to be a great time, and it's a great time to set those goals mm. and set the new year's resolutions. <laughs> they might seem cliche, but guess what? You can set them, actually. You, you can. can. And then you can start start from where you are, baby steps. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great way to meet your target for the year and uh, set that target. Yes, indeed. You know, my name is Yomi Uope. And I'm Titi Lyo Oyinson. Now, we're streaming live at tvcentertainment.tv. And if you want to see Yomi more in this April, hey, you can always tune in via TVC Connect on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know why you mentioned. You people already put me to work. The year hasn't started. You guys, it's already like slave labor up in the studio. No, here. but it fits you. That's the thing. Yeah. This thing, this yummy in the kitchen thing. You no, know, the kitchen has been trending back yeah, to this, back. Okay. My, yeah. My yeah. hand knit. Uh, mm -hmm. tired. It looks, it looks good. like it's working nicely. It fits you. He's and hanging out with the chef today. Yeah, Chef KD. Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, Tokwa has taken over. Mm -hmm. no, 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 you know what? Operations in the kitchen. On New Year resolutions, let all the men out there resolve to take over the kitchen. Yes, Even if so. it's for January, yes, just so. surprise us. Mm -hmm. And use the hashtag yeah. Wake Up Nigeria. Let me see how many of you decided to surprise us. Yeah. And men, please don't Be make a like yummy. Don't don't make a mess in the kitchen like like <laughs> I do. <'cause, laughs> you know, I, yeah, be anyway. like, at least take a picture in the apron <laughs> first. Put on the apron first, then take a picture, send it to us. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, that would be the day on TVC. for many men. <laughs> anyway, your comments across the social media platforms are very important. Use the hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. As long as you have our app downloaded from Android or iOS stores, you can watch us from anywhere in the world. And it's going to be important this year because we have so many great plans for the show and for you. Mm. So, so straight to uh, this morning's highlights, all the activities that we have 
for you. One hour has already gone by mm. quickly as we're moving into this new year. Shop. Speed of light. X2. Uh, this guy is an artist currently making waves on the internet and has over 35 songs to his credit. He's joining us very shortly. I want to dance, dance. I want to cheer my guys too. Then the CEO of Interiors by McCoy, Anita Ikiata Omumere, is going to be here discussing the importance of lighting in interior design. I have a few questions for her. Yeah. You know, uh, lighting. I love the idea of finding a place with loads of windows for daylight. And uh, you might have to get some light to yeah. make that happen. Now, this is a journey that most of the ladies will be embarking on. Uh, Not probably, just ladies. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this month of January is going to see many gyms full. Uh, <laughs> Susan Ajibadi of Splash Greens will be joining us. Talk to us about weight loss after the holiday season. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Nutrition is really important, though. Mm -hmm. But something that's equally important is relationships. And on relationship today, marriage counselor Oinda Mola Shuderu is going to be giving us tips on how to set emotional goals for the year 2020. Mm. Emotional goals. Mm. And for our third performance this morning, and a chat. Uh, the Galactic Duo will be joining us uh, later on on the show. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yesterday we gave away a, a phone. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, the winner was so happy and everything. Uh, TVC really did great this uh, season giving. And those devices are really good. Honestly, really I was good good thinking my than 28 gig, as in 8 gig round. I'm like, what? Uh, can I get one? Mind blowing. Speaking yeah. of new devices, you know, there's a lot of things in technology that are, you know, going to change. Um, and we were talking uh, yesterday on, uh, was it parenting? Mm. On how social media is really a big part of our lives. Yeah. And I just realized I, I didn't want to just pick up my phone because I knew that if I entered my social media, I'll just get sucked <laughs> in. Oh, yeah, of course. And I didn't want to get sucked in so early in 2020. <laughs> like, in this morning, I've just been leaving my phone you know, just leave it on the table. So carry you didn't see what's happening. I've not been. I've you don't know been what's happening. I've been avoiding. You need to have what's happening. Really? You really need to check and see what's happening. <laughs> no. If you don't check, you won't know what's happening. I don't want okay, to know. So, so <laughs> typically, typically, uh, Twitter is typically calmer mm. than uh, when it comes to pictures and, and stuff yeah. than yeah. Instagram because once you go on Instagram, it's like oh. yes, so it just. Once it refreshes, it's like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But Twitter is a bit chill, especially if you're following like strategic accounts. Mm -hmm. You're still a bit calm. Your, your brain is not, you know, <laughs> overloaded mm -hmm. suddenly. But Instagram, there's something Instagram does to you Ooh. that is not, it's, it's, not, not, it's not good. It's <laughs> <laughs> mess with your mind. So maybe cut oh, back, cut yeah. back a little bit uh, from mm -hmm. Instagram this mm -hmm. month of January. Mm -hmm. it, it, it will help. We have to take the news update now. And Ibrahim has that for us. And welcome once again. Let's begin with the news of how churches across Lagos held services to usher in the year 2020. At the Cherubim and Seraphim Church, worshippers were seen lounging outside the church premises while they listened to the hymns of, uh, from the hall. At the Methodist Church, Okwebi, this... At the Methodist Church, which is Okwebi, this procession marks the beginning of the service. Songs of praise and worship as well as prayer fill the air as the clock gradually ticks into 2020. Now for Bishop Adi, redeemed evangelical mission, the word was as important as songs that came pouring from the choir. As a, as a clock ticks closer into the year 2020, the atmosphere became charged and worshippers didn't have to wait for too long. Joy, jubilation took over the atmosphere. The clergyman say 2020, it's a year of rebirth for the country and all grace for Nigerians. Nigerians were also urged to gear up for the 2020 and worship God more. Now in Abuja, many churches prayed their way into a prosperous 2020. The new year came early for this church, which held its crossover service from 6 to 9 p.m. It says the significance given to the time for crossover may not be necessary and would rather the worshippers focus on God, and the congregation is happy with these arrangements. 
Meanwhile, for the first time in seven years, a Christian crossover service is taking place or took place in Madugre, Borno State. People have found it difficult gathering for this kind of service due to insecurity caused by Boko Haram insurgency. The relative peace in the city has emboldened them to come out, worship, and cross over into the new year. A national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has charged Nigerians not to allow past difficulties deter benefits of greater future. Mr. Tinubu made the call in, the, in his New Year message to the nation. It says, quote, as we look back on the past year and decade, that we, we thank God for his kindness and mercy in keeping and sustaining us. As we enter the new year and this new decade, we look, we look to God to carry us forward, that our nation continue to advance as is our good and prosper or proper destiny. For each and every Nigerian, no matter your region, religion or ethnicity, may this year be a year of peace, prosperity and progress. May all share in the dream that is Nigeria and may that dream come ever closer to becoming our daily reality, unquote. Well, that's all on the news at this hour. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. You know, I really like when I and Yomi have like a game on because yo Yomi, this is game on. <laughs> <laughs> so Chef Kade is going to have to choose. You have to who, wear an apron. Yes, uh, I have to wear an apron. You know, I go all out. <laughs> so Chef Kade, you're going to choose okay. today <laughs> who is your real partner. Is there a choice? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm the real partner. He said it. So now, Chef Kady, what are we doing next? Okay. We've started, we're starting to make the pancake batter. Yeah. So the most essential part of pancake batter, which is what they sell you when you're buying a pre-made pancake mix, mix. Yes. You have to have something that will make the batter rise. And that is baking powder. So I'm just going to put it. A... Is there any particular amount of baking powder we're supposed to put? Ideally for i would say about a cup to two cups of flour you need yeah. about a teaspoon to a teaspoon, a teaspoon. and a half, half. Okay. of baking powder you do right. a little goes a very long way oh, okay mm. and unlike baking soda baking soda actually gives you a bit of a taste baking okay. powder doesn't give any taste okay. when it leavens so a lot of people have problems when they're making pancake batter because they get lumps so yes. i'm going to show you guys a trick not to get lumps okay so we have our dry ingredients inside yeah. thank you you're Actually, welcome. you whisk, I'll add the seasonings. Thank you. So because this is savory pancakes, we're yeah. doing a savory flavor profile. So okay. it's a bit of black pepper. Okay. So well, this is going to be savory. Some coriander powder. You can all measure if you're not as uh, comfortable as what I'm doing. But I can eyeball what I want. This is paprika. Okay. Paprika is going to give a bit of smokiness. Oh, okay. Allspice. Allspice. Allspice is going to give you smokiness and a bit of a floral, <laughs> deep note. Chef KD, we give it this, okay? Next. Sage. Sage is a good seasoning for poultry, pork, okay. Oh, okay. Um, beef not as much. Oh, okay. So those are our spices. Now for two herbs. Okay. We're putting some parsley flakes, dried parsley flakes. Okay. Remember, this is all just to boost the flavor, the flavor of the end product. Of, okay. And the marjoram leaves. Oh, wow. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So the trick is we mix the dry ingredients. Yeah. Then we start putting the wet ingredients. So the first wet ingredient we're putting in oh. is our eggs. We're going to mix it stiff. Okay. So it's going to seize up on you. But don't be scared. We're going to thin it out to the consistency we want. Okay. So. Do I keep whisking or I wait? Keep whisking. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's three is eggs. Happening. Okay. And it's becoming like two. Aha, you see? It's gotten stiff. Yeah. Now, we're going to now take it out. So oh, I'm wow. adding milk. You can use, don't, please don't use powdered milk. Oh, okay. You can use long life milk. I prefer that. Today, I'm using evaporated milk. Oh, okay. And then, because it's evaporated and concentrated, I'm going to thin it out with just simple water. Oh. And you can see our batter is starting to thin out already. Yeah, it is starting to thin out. Do I wait or I continue? Keep going. Okay. You won the, you won the contest. Yes, I am the winning. The assistant this. contest. Yes. 
Well, you know, technically, Yomi didn't do as much as I did, so I've like. I am not allowed to say that contractually. Why? Why do <laughs> I always have to struggle? Okay, at this point, I'm going to help you out. Okay. Let's see, so we have a firm ball here. Yes, we do. So what we do now? For like a particular type of whiskey. Yeah. We might want to take this at in a bit of a shallow it. angle, so we can get it on the screen. And you can see that that ball in the middle of the whisk is it's getting reducing, smaller. Yes. Because it's dissolving into the batter. Yes, it actually is. Easy. It's that easy. <laughs> really that easy. Oh, you do not want to And you can see know. that there are no lumps. Yes. It's just there you easing go. out. So what we're going to do, yes. we're going to multitask because you're my assistant. Yes, I'm your assistant. And you're quite apt. Okay. So we're going to do both components of the dish at the same time. Okay. So here I have chicken breast. Okay. I've sliced it in strips. Oh, okay. And I've marinated it in a combination of yogurt, garlic, yeah. and some of these other seasonings. So there, I think there's a bit of white pepper inside. Okay. There's coriander inside. There's sage. Okay. You know what? We're going to continue this, but let's go on a quick break. I'm sure you don't want to go anywhere because this looks like something yum is going to come out at the end. Thank God Johnny, also known as X2J, got social media abuzz with his performance of his hit single, Love You Like. He, was, he has recorded over 35 songs with a respectable number of streams. In honor of the new year, he will be performing this year. Tell us a bit about this year. Um, basically, this year is a, a good wish song, uh, like a prophetic song, song okay. that you wish for something good to come to you. Like in the song I was talking about, I want to make it this life. I want to put a smile on my own face. Okay. Yeah, that's what... So it's totally a good wish song. Good wish song. I yeah. mean, what what other day would be best to hear a good wish song than today? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Blow us away then. Yes, indeed. This year, I want to make my mother smile. I want to hold my baby tight. Oh, I love the lyrics of that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great way to start the year. Now, we have something else that uh, might interest you, and it's our home makeover segment. Something that a lot of us need to do is revamp, restyle, makeover our homes, our spaces, the places that make us comfortable. With us, we have Anita Ikiata Onwumere. She's the creative director of Interiors by McCoy. And with over half a decade experience in interior design solutions, their focus is on home uh, lighting today and uh, the importance of lighting in interior design. Yes. Welcome so much. In fact, you know, you know what? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I was going to say welcome to the studio, but yes. Happy New Year is more important right now. Happy New Year. I wish you the same. Honestly, New Year, new opportunities, new beginnings, mm -hmm. new lighting yes. in our homes, <laughs> yes. hopefully. Yes. Interior design is, uh, is a lot more intricate than a lot of people understand. Yes. Uh, they just think, you know what? Ah, I'm going to get a place. I'm going to put furniture in it. They never really consider lighting it up. Mm -hmm. or the importance of lighting in that space. So how important is it to have the right type of lighting in your space? Okay, um, first and foremost, lighting is an element of design. Okay. So it's actually a part of design. You know, there are other elements, but lighting is one of the most important elements in design. That is, if you set up your home, you put the colors, you put your sofa, and there's no accurate amount of light in your home, it's going to look dull, okay. it's going to look banal, and to reflect a certain mood. And most people need to know that lighting sets a certain mood and it serves as a function in a home as well. Okay, okay. So now, uh, lighting, of course, when we think of lighting, usually we just think of bulbs. Um, but then there are different shapes and sizes and positions for light. Uh, could you give us a breakdown of how important the positioning of light is? 
Okay, first and foremost, I, was, I would introduce the three types of lights that we have in interior design. Okay. We have the ambient light, which is also known as the general light. Mm -hmm. It's just responsible for illuminating the whole space and bringing, you know, making, putting the general overall brightness in a space. Okay. Then we have the ascent light, which just draws your eyes to a particular thing. It's just plainly for aesthetic purpose. There's nothing um, functional. functional about it. Mm -hmm. Then um, examples of those lights are your spotlights and your wall scones, the cylinder wall scones. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the tax lights, which are like the table lamps, usually for a specific tax, reading, okay. cooking, mm -hmm. and you know, doing your chores and walking around your home. It adds more light to your space as well. Okay, one more, one more time. You said accent lights, task lights, and, and the ambient, ambient lights. Light. Yes. Okay, so I didn't hear you say daylight in there. Um, so I'm thinking windows are also a source of light. Am I right? Yes. They call it natural light, okay. actually. Natural light. Yes. So could we say it's four, not three? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. But, so in terms of artificial lighting um, in the design of, of our spaces, um, a lot of people think, you know what, let me just put a bulb up there. It's more affordable. Is this just, you know, is this something people need to reconsider? Of course, you need to reconsider it because it's just more than putting a bulb. Mm. Now, a light is supposed to serve a certain function. And if there is a light in your home or there's a bulb in your home that doesn't have a function, it's a waste of electricity, really. So you, whenever you're placing your light, you ask yourself things like, what do I need the light for? Is it illuminating the whole space? Is it serving a function of, you know, um, um, reading of maybe probably I'm cooking in the kitchen and I have this pendant light downwards and I have to see my tomatoes, my ingredients and all that. So every light has a function. So it has to have a function. Okay. In terms of beauty and aesthetics, you know, I, I've, I've walked through many uh, interior design shops before and I just see this lamp and this lamp just looks so pretty mm -hmm. uh, and then you now buy it and you take it home and then when you put the lamp on you're like it's not really doing much okay so it's like an impulse buy mm -hmm. um, so do you what what is your um, policy on impulse buying of lights mm -hmm. okay you have to like I said you have to think about what you want to use the light for and don't forget, it's not just about the light. It's about the texture, what the light is made of. Sometimes people just want to put, you know, a golden ornament in their house and add that torch, you know, and add um, that torch of um, bronze or gold or silver. Not necessarily the light, mm. but it's also important for you to test your light mm. before you buy them. Make sure that the purpose for which you're buying them is achieved. Okay. You know, I I have to say thank you so much for coming to talk to us about this. I have a feeling someone is already thinking about how to adjust the lighting in their space and also considering the design of their home before they do it. Uh, once again, it's always a pleasure having you. Same Please here. Come back again. Yeah. We have so much more to come. Wake Up Nigeria continues. Happy New Year once again. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm right here with Chef KD of KD Prime. And we've done something really uh, special. Now, if you had seen what we were doing earlier on, you would understand what's going on. But let's just go over this uh, one more time. Uh, now, I have here the mix. The for, pancake batter, yes. This, this is the pancake batter. So just tell us what happened in there. OK. So like I said, it's a savory pancake we're doing. Mm -hmm. So. All the flavor profiles and the flavor notes are savory. So there's coriander inside, there's allspice, there's paprika, there's marjoram, there's parsley. Mm -hmm. Most importantly is the baking powder. Baking powder is what's going to give you the fluffy pancake oh, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. turn into a crepe. Okay, I see what you mean. Uh -huh. so that, that's what gives you that extra bounce. Exactly. So yeah, when we start yeah. frying it, um, tip with all frying. Mm. Deep frying, shallow frying, frying pancakes, you need a hot pan, mm. hot oil. That way hot the pan, absorption oil. of oil is, is much less. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just put the pan back on the, yes. on the thing there. And uh, Okay, so tell us what we did with the chicken. Yes. So, simple. Mm. Chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs if you want. Mm. Remove the bone. Cut them so they're small enough that they can fry quickly. Mm. Because the key is you want, it, you want it crisp, but you want it cooked. 
Right, right. And you right. still want it moist. Okay, so it's, it's, it's small enough and slim enough for us to be able to work around it and for, for it to fry deeply. Exactly. Mm. And some of the science behind it is the reason I use, I use yogurt because the lactic acid in the cream mm. actually tenderizes the chicken. Right, 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 right. And this is something you can do and keep in your freezer. Mm. Just store it when you want to do a batch. All right, all right. So it's, okay, so it's uh, just very quickly, uh, if you can just look at your screen now, you're going to see all the ingredients that we put together. And I'm sure you can work around it if you can find a few of them. You can see uh, right now salt, uh, sage, garlic, yogurt, uh, coriander, black pepper, uh, chicken breast, and uh, a few other things that you can also add. Okay, there's more. Uh, eggs, milk, flour, allspice, white pepper, uh, baking powder to make it bouncy, and spicy syrup, the secret uh, that's secret syrup ingredient. Yes. Anyway, so um, next we're gonna ha we're gonna deep fry this chicken. Yes, right? I need your help. Okay, you're gonna help me put the coating on it. The so coating. You're gonna yeah. take each strip, mm -hmm. put it inside. This is breadcrumbs. Yeah. You can buy store bought breadcrumbs, or you can make your own. Get yeah. bread, toast it till it's dry, then you crush it. Done. Okay. Okay. And nice. what I do is because I believe in flavor, flavor, flavor. Yeah. So this is seasoned breadcrumbs. So I took breadcrumbs. Yeah. Then I seasoned it. There's a bit of uh, there's a bit of uh, atagungu. Atagungu. This <laughs> guy. Just trying to impress me this January first. Okay. Well, so I lost the woman and I've gained you. Yeah. So I have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So um, now, put it just in tell me if I'm doing as it right. Trick, okay. As a trick. Okay. Yeah. Once you put it in, just give it a little shake. Yeah, so it just covers everything. It covers everything. Okay, so then I deep fry. Yeah. I hope the camera can catch this. So I will start the pancakes while you're deep frying. Yeah. Because we're men and we can multitask. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're talking about. So can you see that? Look at that. All covered in breadcrumbs. Perfect. And just throw that in there. That's it. And, ah, cool. Never done that before. Really? So here's another. So you said cover it yeah. and then give it a little shake give it give Let it, it some incorporate shake. and cover completely okay and put it in yeah and because the and because the deep fryer is super hot yeah the crust is going to seal around it yeah so the flesh is actually going to steam not fry yeah that's okay. why that's it's why it's moist. moist and fluffy exactly mm. okay let me throw this in there as well and because you can Second multitask one. i'm going to tell you to look at the pancake yeah, you I'm can keeping, see the bubbles. I'm my eye on, on the, yeah. You see, those bubbles are the baking powder acting with the milk. Baking right. powder activates, it becomes a leavening agent yeah. when it works with, uh, with an acid. Mm -hmm. And the acid in this case is lactic acid in the milk. Oh, right. So okay. that's so what's in the lettuce. So it's creating the bubbles, and yes. uh, I can see that the thing is taking shape now. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a nice non stick oh, yeah. pan. This pan is so old. It forgot <laughs> it. It's forgotten its non-stick. So so sometimes throw this third chicken. Yeah, put it in. Ta da! Wow. Simple. This is spicy pancakes. Yes. I've never seen pancakes that has seven different kinds of spices. In it. <laughs> Take a look at this. Perfect. So good. So it's really it's hot. A, it's really hot. This literally cooks in minutes. In minutes. For right. a batch like this, you're looking at three, five minutes max. Wow. Because anything over that, it's going to start drying. Because hmm. I can see it's brown already. I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, That's not done yet. Okay, it's not done yet. But very close. This is 30 seconds out. 30 seconds and it will be ready. 30 seconds, this will be ready. And we are done. Wow, Tip. this is literally like three minutes. Yeah. Three minutes and That's I'm it. done. So Remember, there's a tendency it, to yeah. leave these things longer. If you leave it longer, it's going to dry. And you, the, the sexiness of this dish yeah. is the moisture of the chicken. Right, 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 right. I can see, I see what you mean. So uh, make sure that the deep fryer is really hot. Yes. And then just, you know, uh, once you said, and also make sure that the chicken is not too big. Exactly. Mm. If it's too big, it'll take too long to cook, and mm. then the breading will fall off. Let me see if I... One of the tricks is... Okay, we can even plate one now. Yeah. Ah. So, 
Mm. That's your pancake. Perfect. So that goes on the side. As you can see, uh, I don't know if the camera can catch this. Just one shot of here. Ah, look at that. So that's, uh, that's the spicy, seven, I think we should give it a name, like a seven spice. Savory pancake. Savory pancake. And that's my and southern fried chicken. Southern fried chicken. And the oracle. The oracle. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, so while I'm doing justice to this thing right here, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be handing over to uh, Titi, who I'm sure is envious of me. Highly. <laughs> Highly. <laughs> Let's just say he came back in time. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Anyway, we've got uh, some, uh, something about a nutrition that's going to be happening, uh, well, shortly after this relationship talk with Oni Damala Shideru right now. Yes, uh, now that does look nutritious, but not the kind of nutrition I'm focusing on 2020. Get deep behind me, <laughs> fried food in 2020. Um, now it smells amazing, chef, really it does. Now emotional growth is also essential for a balanced life. Mm -hmm. And Oni Damala Shideru is back. Now she'll be giving us tips on how to set emotional goals for this new year. She's a marriage counselor who works with the Fountain of Life Church and handles marriage counseling classes and sessions. So this is your forte, I guess. <laughs> Happy New Year, Happy first new of year. all. Nice to see you. You're looking bright and beautiful. Thank you. I know you must have really kabashed into the new year. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. <laughs> um, but it, a lot of people were asking when we, when we heard the topic, uh, Emotional goals? Is there such a thing as emotional goals? Mm. Are you trying to say I uh, will not be heartbroken this year? Uh, what, what exactly uh -uh. do we mean by emotional goals? Uh, well, um, what we mean by emotional goals is um, trying to look out for your well-being in your relationship. Mm. The same way you would set business goals, you set targets for yourself in the year. You can be intentional in your emotions, you know, and um, I've designed this few second minutes with you in a way that people would remember because I want us to refer to things in the kitchen. Okay. So every time you're in your kitchen or, you know, you're yes. with chef, yes. you think of your emotional goals with okay. what I have planned. Okay. Okay. So, you know, for example, I'd like us to think of... Um, Emptying the refuse bin. Mm. Yes, a lot of okay. us have garbage we've brought in from the previous year. There's a lot of resentment. Mm. So the first tip I'll give you, the first goal for yourself is every time you see an, a, 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 a dustbin, dust tell yourself, I have to empty my emotional bin. Enough of carrying the baggage around, you know. So the baggage of uh, bitterness? Bitterness, uh, abuse, things that have been done to you. You know, you owe it to yourself to be happy. Mm. So things you cried over in 2019, 2018, tell yourself in 2020, I'm going to be happy. Mm. I'm throwing this out mm. and I'm making room for the new, you know. Mm. Another thing I want to encourage you to do, for example, is season your words with salt. Mm. Make sure mm. your words are pleasant to hear. Sometimes you, you come in contact with some people and you just wish the day will start afresh. Be yeah. that one person who speaks, you know, um, words that enhance people, develop them. So season your words with salt. And the advantage of that is when you have to eat your words, yes. it will be sweet, mm. you know, mm. and then... I want to give, leave this tip. If that's all I say today, I'll be happy. Learn to make praise sandwiches. Oh. The reason why a lot of us struggle in our relationships, some, some wives will tell you, my husband doesn't listen to me. Some husbands shut it down, you know, when their wives open their mouth and, you know, the other way. Because people just serve criticism, criticism, criticism. Yeah. I want you to imagine your loaf of bread. Praise the person. Oh, Titi, I like your hair, for example. And then you put in the mayo and then the slice of criticism, which is probably the ham or the sardine or the, mm. what chef is making. And you're like, ah, <laughs> oh, you know, um, mm. oh, oh, if there was light, maybe you'd have ironed this top better, mm. you know. And then you quickly slam on the praise. Oh, I love the color of your lashes. Oh, you know? wow. So it's, it's a praise <laughs> sandwich. It's easy okay. to swallow. Okay. So the husband doesn't just go, this rice is salty. Did, 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 did. Mm. You have a lot of arguments, but when you, when you make it a praise sandwich, ah, sweetheart, how was your day? That's the first slice. Yes. You coat it with, ah, but this soup today is like they were dashing free salt. Uh. And then you <laughs> really, but I appreciate the way my meals are always on time. Oh, yeah, you something know, like she that. She takes it in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm. you can um, mm. 
fill the gas tank of affection. Hmm. A lot of us get so used to each other. You're passing by each other in the kitchen, it's just like daddy and mommy in the kitchen cooking yeah. rice. Mm -mm. You know, bump into each other intentionally. Yeah. Just be very affectionate, top of the gas. So when next you see your gas cylinder, tell yourself, hey, I have to top up this gas emotionally yeah. and be affectionate. Be intentional. Don't let all the text messages be school fees is due. Mm. Send him naughty text messages. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, for the guy to do that to the lady. You know, they say when you want a lady's attention in the night, you start in the daytime. Okay. Fill up the gas tank. All right. Do it often. And then I have to <laughs> I have to stop you there. But the thing is, my kitchen yes. has become a new place to reflect on things now. So yes. I'm em emptying my garbage bin, mm -hmm. right? I'm uh, making some praise sandwiches. Sandwich. And there was one more. You fill, fill the, up the gas fill tank. Fill up the gas tank. Yes. Hope I didn't miss one. I didn't miss any. <sighs> oh, hopefully I didn't. But with that, we're going to make sure we readjust our emotional goals for 2020. And with that, we wrap up the second hour of Wake Up Nigeria, the first episode of 2020. Yes, thank you. came and you were right there with us and now officially is 2020 mm. Mm -hmm. and you're still here and still uh, tuned in for the very first edition of wake up nigeria this year honestly the very first edition yeah two hours gone by already in this show and it's been really really uh, nice not too bad not too shabby something already smells really good in the kitchen yeah so early in the year my stomach is rumbling i need to eat something i think my first meal look at that look for at that. the year is gonna look be that some very fried look at that spicy pancake chicken with, with uh that sauce what what's that sauce again savory sauce savory sauce oh, goodness. i mean it's really really good mouth-watering really, yeah excellent <laughs> <laughs> honestly you are the real deal you are the real mvps we appreciate you from year to year we appreciate the fact that you are here with us on wake up nigeria yeah again we urge you to stick around and make sure that you set your goals as quickly as you can. Mm. Uh, it always helps to write it out True. somewhere. Uh, True. Look for a notepad and a pen. And just write out some things that you want to achieve. My name is Yomi Wope. And I'm Titi Laya Oinso. Please go online and stream with us if you want to start getting ready for your day. Even though a lot of people are still lounging. Yeah. Uh, but just remember the website. That's tvcentertainment.tv. And of course, Facebook Live at TVC Connect. And send in your comments across the social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, use the hashtag wake up Nigeria on TVC. Mm. And if you haven't yet, for some reason, goodness me, download the app. What are you waiting for? Go to the Android or iOS store. Watch us from anywhere in the world as long as that app is on your device. Yeah, you remember Susan Ajibadi from yes. last year? Well, she's in the building mm -hmm. and uh, she wants to come and remind us <laughs> uh, yes, sir. that all that food you ate is going to come calling. <laughs> It's going to come calling in the month yeah. of January, so yeah. I actually tried my best to be very cautious of portion control yeah. this December. Uh, but she's going to be talking to us about uh, how to make some adjustments with our diets yeah. this 2020. Yeah, and then we'll bring you music from Galactic after that. We're going to have some chat with them. Offering me a lot of food. Okay. Um, during obviously, as everyone does, because sometimes I feel like they've just made so much food, they just want somebody to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> just well, eat it. You expect like that. <laughs> you expect that if you make food, yeah, and, uh, it should be one eaten. way or the other, people, yeah. So I was being very cautious, and people were like, "Eat joy, is it not Christmas?" <laughs> but I was just thinking about the journey of the past year. You remember how I think was it in February or March? I told everybody that I lost like two kg. Everybody was laughing. 
And then by October, I had lost four kilos. Uh, people were like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like good. Yeah, so yeah, want, exactly. want to gain it back. And guess what? I did not feel like gaining those six kilos I had lost in <laughs> one year. Six kilos in one year. Not but, too shabby. Not too shabby. But that's not the thing. Shabby, yeah. By December, you have the opportunity to regain <laughs> and it? surpass exactly. those kilos exactly. in one season. So I was just like, nope. Mm -mm. The mm. struggle was too real in 2019. I'm not going to have to redo all that in 2020. So it'll be interesting talking to Susan. Yeah, so you signed that. up for, for a class. Yes. Uh, some kind of, uh, I just I just to myself that, shit, I'm losing weight in 2020. Let's just eat. <laughs> <Let's remember. laughs> no. So I did sign up. You guys should you should follow me on social media and follow my progress. Mm. Because people like Titi and Yomida think that this is going to be a procrastination game. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to be why, a site. Why test. do you think, I mean, uh, now that you're turning it into a competition, uh, I'm going to have to call you out on the show every single week. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have a scale it. behind the couch here. It's not that serious. So every uh, every mm -hmm. morning on the show, when the days when Talk Boys are on, mm -hmm. we'll bring out the scale yeah. and we'll weigh you live. Wow, you're Honestly, me. I think I think we should all actually do it. I think everyone should. I, I, would, I would <laughs> love to do that. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to lose weight. Yeah. So. Crowd <laughs> maintain it. Maintain it. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll take the news now. We'll talk about the skill thing. Yeah, we will talk does. about it. If you have a skill at home, give us. I'm joining the Me Too movement. I want to try to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin with the news of how churches across Lagos held services to usher in uh, the year 2020. At the Cherubim and Seraphim Church, worshippers were seen lounging outside the church premises while they listened to the hymns from the hall. At the Methodist Church of Webby, this procession marks the beginning of the service. Songs of praise and worship, as well as prayer, fill the air as the clock gradually ticks into 2020. For Bishop are the redeemed, evangel redeemed evangelical mission, the word was as important as songs that came pouring from the choir. Uh, and as the clock ticks closer into the year 2020, the atmosphere became charged and worshippers uh, uh, didn't have to wait for too long. Joy, jubilation took over the atmosphere. The clergymen say 2020 is a year of rebirth for the country and all grace for Nigerians. Nigerians were also urged to gear up for the 2020 and worship God more. Meanwhile, for the first time in seven years, a Christian crossover service is taking place in Maduguri, Bono State. People have found a difficult gathering for this kind of service due to insecurity caused by Boko Haram insurgency. The relative peace in the city has emboldened them to come out, worship and cross over into the new year. And the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has charged Nigerians not to allow past difficulties to deter benefits of greater future. Mr. Tinubu made the call in his New Year message to the nation. He says, quote, as we look back on the past year and decade, we thank God for his kindness and mercy in keeping and sustaining us. As we enter the new year and this new decade, we look to God to carry us forward that our nation continue to advance as is our good and pro proper destiny. For each and every Nigerian, no matter your region, religion or ethnicity, May this year be a year of peace, prosperity, and progress. May all share in the dream that is Nigeria, and may that dream come even ever closer to becoming our daily reality." Unquote. In other news, Vacation Judge Justice Uthman Mosa of the FCT High Court has referred the case file of former Attorney General of the Federation, Mohamed Adoki, to the Chief Judge of the FCT High Court, Justice Ishak Bello. The presiding judge said this after hearing a bail application brought by Mr. Adoki's lawyer. The courts had all allowed an ex parte application for Mr. Adoki's detention by the Antigraft Agency on 20th of December, a day after Mr. Adoki arrived in Nigeria. The order is to expire by 2nd of January. The judge decided to return the case file after Mr. Igbanoe explained that although they had the application for Mr. Doki's bill. They needed time to respond to counter applications brought by the EFCC, which was served on 31st of December. And as the news on uh, today on Wake Up Nigeria. That's right. Uh, the holidays uh, will soon be over, and I'm talking a matter of hours. <laughs> Many people are going to be going back. To work. Now, most of us did a lot of eating. Uh, some since December 15. Once they got back home, they just started to binge on all different kinds of food. Anyway, 
Uh, th there's this happens every single year. It's part of the family tradition. When they bring it up, pounded yam, everything. It usually just the case for everyone. Anyway, Susan Ajibade is the CEO of Splash Greens. And this morning, we're going to be talking about weight loss, getting rid of that excess weight right after the festive season, which uh, <laughs> ends this week. <laughs> So good to have you join us. Thank you. It Yumi. looks like uh, you avoided a, a lot of that um, binging that happened during the month of December. Okay. <laughs> but but hey. talk to us. Uh, it's um, this is Nigeria, yeah. and in this part of the world, um, celebration time means food. food. It means lots of meats, drinks. lots of fish, drinks. Beautiful yes, drinks. <laughs> lots of drinks, uh, lots of fried things, okay. uh, baked goods, different things like that. Uh, so now it's January and people are feeling heavy. <laughs> you just try to get out of bed, bloated, heavy. Yes. You try to get out of bed, you know that, ah, I've put on weight. Okay. What should I do if I feel like I am heavier than I was? All right. At, uh, thank December? you, Yomi. If you're on that table, I'll say well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause. Well done. You've well arrived. Done. Yeah. Because you're going to have to work for it. Mm. You know, you've worked eating hard, so you're going to have to work getting rid of whatever is it you've accumulated during the holidays. Four basic things I'm here to share mm. this morning is you have to change your diet all over again, mm. you know. But in the first place, I wouldn't have advised you go that route because it was a lot of work during the year and you're not going to work again, even work more than you worked before. But mm. then these are the simple thing you can do. Mm. Cut out all those foods, all those grains, all those rice. You have to pay mm. for what you have done. So having done that, there's one thing I want to hammer on, which is intermittent fasting. Mm. It can help you. Um, that is, you know, be deliberate about fasting, going off food for mm. some hours. There are different ways to it. Some yeah. people will say 16, 8. That means out of the 24 hours we have, you're going to have to fast for 16 hours and eat for the rest hours. Mm. That will mean you skipping breakfast and maybe dinner or something. I, I, this, this question of intermittent fasting is, yeah. is, is something that looks like it's catching on on a global level. Yes, when you yes. say fasting, it used to be a thing a church. of religion. Yes, so religion. So either church or a mosque, yes. you say we're fasting for 30 days or, yeah. or whatever. So, but now it's getting into the mainstream. Yeah. And w what are the benefits of, of fasting when yeah. it comes to weight loss? Fasting just, you know, resets your system. You've processed, uh, you've worked your uh, digestive system a lot. You've had a lot of food. So um, when you fast, that means you're not taking anything in. Mm. So your system has time to reset. It's not working at that time. Mm. So that is what it does. Your immunity system goes back on track. So there's nothing that your system is processing when mm. you're fasting. So it gives it time to go back to how it is supposed to be. Mm. So that's one of the that's things that that's one of the things that you should do. One thing that you also said is that you know you need to cut back on a lot of the rice, a lot yes. of the processed foods. Yes, and, and, all and of that. there's one thing we do talking about health and well and wellness, which is called detoxification. Mm. It's a process of cleans cleansing your met metabolism. You know, you know, and basically um, the the best way to do that you're only on on fruits and vegetables during, you know, during, the, period. during the period of right. detoxification it mm. could be in form of maybe juice or something but all you're taking in if you can really do the fasting mm. is you're taking pure fruits and vegetables mm. those digest very easily you know you're not easily bloated and also it resets your system back to normal mm. so yes. these are sort of some key things that you know I'm, I'm sure people are watching and they're saying yeah. to themselves okay i probably need to go in this direction yeah. is there any other thing that i, I should be focusing on this month of January? water hmm. water what as much as as little as people think it is you know you can find water literally everywhere but it could it could help you if you don't want to go on the fruit and vegetable you could solely be on water make mm. sure your water routine is is on point you know then the, i like to say something people eat when they're not actually hungry mm. you have to be hungry before you eat mm. you know people just see food we did a lot of that during the holidays yeah. am i guilty i yeah. don't know <laughs> yeah well, I, I mean am. you you're just, mm. you're just sitting you're watching tv and then you just think oh i think i need to yes, have something I need to in my have hand something, yeah. you know to you, you don't have to do that all of the time mm. so 
Is try to, so try to avoid uh, avoid all those things. Yeah, but there's, there are people dream, who so. complain that you know when when I'm trying to change my lifestyle, maybe yeah. you said 16 hours to eight hours yeah, and, and all of that. What do you do when you begin to lose the energy and you become lethargic and, and all of that? Are there options for for keeping healthy and keeping uh, keeping your energy up? Um, you have to keep keeping on. And another thing you have to do, maybe when you're trying to start that journey of awareness, you have to be accountable to someone mm. who can you know push you when you're getting tired you know maybe give you another option maybe your dietitian or someone that has helped you with a plan mm. in that process of detoxification you can speak to that person is there anything you want to change for me i'm getting bored i'm getting tired of this routine mm. can i have something else and maybe that person in his or her knowledge can put you back on track mm. so you should be accountable to someone so you could even have a, a, a friend that okay Let's do this together. We both got blotted during the holiday, can we? <laughs> oh yeah, so you can, can look we? for you can look for an accountability yes. partner in that yes. area. And so okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like this? I weigh so, seventy five, yeah. and you look like you wear yeah. around the same All as well. Right. So we we'll hook up. Can and we hold we'll hands <laughs> and do this? Yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I think these are these are some key uh, points that you've given us today, and yeah. hopefully uh, at the end of. Uh, the month of January, you can see yourself making a bit of progress yes. in the area of weight loss. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. Uh, Susan. Thank you, Yomi. I'm uh, so this glad morning. to be here. Now, we've got a performance for you this morning, and we're heading over to uh, the open space for something with Galactic. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic stuff happening today, 1st of January, and we have the amazing duo of Khalif and Kwam. They make Galactic, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. I'm trying to, you know, like, <laughs> hype it up. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the track you're performing today, guys? Love. 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 That's all we need. That's <laughs> all we need. Let me get out of your hair. Galactic, people. Let's go. Check out your song. Where you find that body, girl? You gonna make man want to see love. Check out your song. Show me some love. Show me some love. Let us down. Check out your shit. Thanks for tuning in. Now, these guys are a group of men who came together with brotherly love in Houston, Texas. Now, they also had a goal, which was to one day be universally known. Their combination of fashion, creativity, talent, and intelligence contributes to their versatility in entertainment. They're planning to innovate culture and inspire people across the world with their music. Khalif and Kwam from <laughs> Galactic. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. happy new year. Us. Yes, happy new year to you too. Yes, sir. <laughs> Honestly, it, it was interesting watching you guys perform, you know. <laughs> Let us dance. I, I, was, I was really dancing. I mean, it. really. It was really nice. Uh, and it was um, a great way to start the year. Yes, man. Um, yes, man. I but, appreciate but you. Let's hear about how the last year was for you guys. How was the last year for you guys? Oh, man. We had a couple of projects, um, you know, just constant grind and whatnot. A um, couple yeah. of shows. Sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, sure. it's, it's beauty in the process. Yeah. You know, it was a good year, though. It was a good year. So we dropped about four tracks mm -hmm. last year. Okay. Four visuals last year. Okay. So we're looking forward to 2020 to put out more projects, more content. Yeah, more content. So, yeah. so how has it been? How has, your, how has the um, reception of your music been in mm -hmm. Nigeria? Mm -hmm. It's actually been good. Yeah. Um, we landed some, um, got some kind of big songs. I mean, kind of big, you know, mm -hmm. with Alami Day. Uh, yeah. You know, okay. we got a few ones coming with Edo West that's currently out now called Temper Risky. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you know, we have another song with Dremo and whatnot. Yeah. So we have, you know, yeah. the resistance has been okay, yeah. but you know, it's still a constant grind. So we started the grind in 2016. Okay. We brought our music here to push it here. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, we came back 2017. Mm -hmm. So okay. we've learned a lot, you know, and we have, we're blessed to have those features like Alami Day. Shout out to him. Yeah, God, God bless. bless. He blesses everyone. So we were, we were next on that path. Mm -hmm. And Edo West blessed us too. We have one with Destiny Boy coming Destiny too. Boy. Yeah. Um, Shout out to him. We have one with Dremo <laughs> coming too. So, you know, we've been working. A lot of so. content in the store. I, I love the fact that you said you learned a lot. Yeah. So, obviously, the, the industry is not, it's not a, a, you know, a bunch of roses. It's not easy to break into the Nigerian market. So, what are the main challenges you've had and how have you been able to cross some of them? Some of those challenges is just being across the water. 
Okay. You know, so monitoring stuff that's going on here. Okay. You know, it's better if you have your presence here. Yeah. So, you know, that's yeah. the stuff we run into. That's, like. that's definitely a big, big challenge because they look at you like, oh, you're from America. So these guys have dollar signs and whatnot, yeah. but they don't understand that yeah. we're working for it too. It was yeah. not easy. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. about the vision. Yeah. We're trying to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. You see how Afrobeat is moving to USA? Yeah. So we, we've been ahead of that. That's mm -hmm. like, when we started doing music in like 2015, mm -hmm. that's what we wanted 14. to do. Mm -hmm. 14, that's mm -hmm. what we wanted to do. Just make music for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. But use our culture in Nigeria and USA exactly. to okay. champion. So how has it been for you in the US now mm -hmm. as an Afrobeat artist? Mm -hmm. Now from when you started and now, mm -hmm. how has the reception been for you? It's actually been really good. Um, you see the whole thing like he just mentioned is that, you know, the Afrobeat market is actually, you know, it's getting on a global landscape now. Yeah. Mm. So now, you know, shout out to the Wiz Kids, to the Davidos, to the Burner Boys. You know, everybody's is being receptive to the African music. And then another thing about us is that we have the versatility to be able to branch into other markets. You know, we're actually, you know, we have you know, songs for the urban market that's American as well. Okay. So they see us as, oh, those are the versatile artists that's trying to, like he said, bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. So it's music so. across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can deliver for Nigeria yeah. with our culture, deliver for America because we're born there. All right then. But but let's learn a bit about Galactic themselves. So, mm. so what? So did you, so did you guys have um, you know visions of being bankers before music entered the <laughs> entered I mean, the we're scene? both college graduates, yeah. Yeah. so we went yeah. to school. Everything. Yeah. I had a I was a college athlete. Oh. So I was I was a I was a basketball player. Really? I had, I had hoop dreams. Like yeah. okay. All the way from zero to twenty. Four years old, yeah. basketball, <laughs> no, basketball. I just burnt out. I'm 22. Damn, I'm burnt out of college. Mm. So I just want to be creative. We always love fashion. That's where we started, honestly. Yeah. Fashion, okay. doing curating events for our people, okay. just chilling. And you said so. You said yeah. bankers. See, like I always tell people, I don't want to be marginalized in a box or put in a box. Yeah. So we're actually businessmen too. You know, went to school, got a college graduate. I got my master's in project management. Wow. So you know, it's yeah. like you know, we're still like you know into other markets as well, you know, yeah. into the business market. So, I mean, nah, I just wanna, I don't wanna be known as just only a magician. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. it, yeah. you know? All right, mm -hmm. all right. So I, I, I had that question in mind because of the way you projected yourselves. Even when you came into the studio, you were, you know, so courteous and, you know, you were interacting with, because I could see that whole customer care <laughs> kind of vibe. Yeah, I could <laughs> see it, like you, get, you guys had, you know, trained yourselves to interact with people and, and work with people as, as you go along. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know there, uh, is always that challenge of you know financing projects oh, like man. this. Yeah. That's the number that's one, one of the number one challenges. Number one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause Cause I mean, I'm in Nigeria now. Mm. I mean, Nigerian artists seeing you. I just got back, so that's why. I just got back. You know the way you talk and the way we talk is different. Exactly. You are trying to sound like me. Still different. So now, how does how do you now what challenges do you face in financing projects here mm. because there's already the notion of coming from the u.s Culture you're supposed barrier. to have money <laughs> oh. so it's, it could be anything i mean we tried a lot of stuff since 2016. burnt a lot of money too. burnt a lot of money so <laughs> simply just you know projects not meeting deliverables okay not seeing results mm. but that's part of it you fall you get back up when you fall, say when up. you say you you burnt a lot of money. Did you have bad experiences with people? Here? Definitely. Yes. Can Definitely. you tell us yes. about that? Yes. <laughs> that happens in the industry. Yeah, it's, it's part you of know, the game. You, you might pay for something that yeah. doesn't, yeah. you know, reach the standard that you wanted. Oh, like, okay. you know, different and how I really look a lot at it too is like there. in the U.S., I mean, talent, I mean, and that presence wins. You know, we don't really just like, I always have to pay to get results. You know, mm. they will see you, that presence. Like, okay, this is, person has talent. Let me work with them. So oh, coming over here and seeing that, okay, sometimes you got to pay. And it's, the music game is, you have to pay. You have to need finances. The good Not thing easy. about Nigeria, though, is like certain things you can pay to skip the line. It's true. Yeah. In America, you not, they not taking no money. You have to do the work. Mm. You have to be consistent. So let me get so, this right. Nigeria, you, prefer, you prefer the fact that you can pay and skip the line. <laughs> no, no, to an extent. No, no. To an extent. To, to an extent. Yeah. You know, it works so. in both favors. It's pros and cons to that. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. If I could put my music in front of more people with, you know what I'm saying? Mm. There's a couple More of those. Yeah, yeah, why not? Do it's part of the vision too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So who are you? I was gonna ask about labels though. You oh, know, okay. labels. Um, you know, the labels. Working with labels as opposed to working on your own. I know you must have had both experiences mm. by now. We're independent. We're independent label. labels. Right, right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're just. Okay. Were you ever signed on? on the never, never. Really? Oh, okay. No. So you haven't had that experience of 
um, cheating and you know, all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not with the label. No. Yeah. Not with the no, label. No, no, no. And then label two is kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of dicey in a sense because, you know, we're very big on creati creativity control. Okay. So we want to yes. yeah, have all control over our creative. So, I mean, signing to a label, you know, I mean, you have to know how to read the contract, first yeah. and foremost. Mm -hmm. course, you know, I mean, 2020 now, you know, so <laughs> I know people are more enlightened about contracts. contracts. But, I mean, you know, I mean, you have to be ready for that part of the game. All right then, so there's probably some young artists right now watching and you know, they're just about to start their own journey. Mm. They've, they've always dreamed of going into music. Um, what, from your experience, would you share with a young, a young performer watching right now? First and foremost, I say you gotta be very, very patient. Mm. <laughs> Patience is number one. And you have to have, have high spirits, you gotta be prayerful. Mm. Very, very okay. prayerful. That's one thing that's big, we're big on too, is you know, spiritual yeah. vibes. Because mm. okay. that's the only way but you can get But then again, there. the industry has its own like dark side. Mm. So mm. it's kind of hard to, you have a clean heart. <laughs> These people don't have a clean oh, heart. Man. <laughs> it's just in so Nigeria. I love you, you guys you though, man. <laughs> It's the industry too, like anywhere. Oh, like it's, it's a dirty game oh. that goes before, on. Before we move on, yeah, there's this thing of, um, uh, for upcoming artists or, yeah. or people who are trying to consider going to music, now music versus school. Mm. If, uh, if they're at this crossroads, what would you advise them to do? Yeah. Do both. Do both. Do both. Because when your music career is done, you need something to fall on to. Exactly. Yeah. So make yourself a business. Mm -hmm. As an artist, you are a brand. Mm -hmm. So music is just one of your sectors. Yeah. Okay. So you will fall into other things along the longevity line. Longevity is key. Yeah. You can't right do your then. longevity is key. So. Yeah. All right, now you have Galactics, people. Uh, they're starting us off on the motivational peak. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm morning. inspired. Yeah. I want to try music. Uh, uh, you know what, that conversation is for another day. Jump I've on the track. Yeah, let's go, man. Uh, but, You're back. Let's get in the studio. You know, my, my director will tell you I have a, a track somewhere. Oh, wow. He has it somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh, I want to hear that. Gonna, let's hear that. You know what, let's, let's, blast go, let's, blast let's go to the kitchen. And um, we'll have a bite. We have oh, a chef that's been making looking things Looking forward to that. Funny, he, he did yeah. say he has something um, um, yeah. American. It yeah. looks yeah. like he has like, insights that you were yeah. coming. <laughs> hey, people. Welcome to our kitchen. How's it going? Hello. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Please have a seat. Morning. Have a seat here. Yeah. Mm. Nice okay. to have you guys. Uh, this is Chef KD Prime. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good morning, sir. This, this guy is really special. He's done something very, very nice and very different for us yeah. uh, today. Just talk to us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> since, uh, since we have some Americans in the house. <laughs> <laughs> They're Nigerians. They're Nigerians. Nigerians. Yes. 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 Yeah. Or or I just go back. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is my play, my riff on chicken and waffles. Mm. So it's chicken and pancakes. It's southern fried chicken. Mm. with a savory pancake mm. and my chili infused mm. homemade pancake syrup. Mm. Pancakes. You're like me because I love I love pancakes. Uh, wow. yeah. I'm a pancake person. And uh, this he calls this the oracle. So. Oracle. 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 Yeah. Oh, it looks special too. Honestly, the spice. Been through stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. So stuff. let's pass it over. I think he's, uh, no, he's, he's going to. Oh, you're going to spray. Oh, you're yeah. going to drizzle, drizzle it on. Jigga yes. Jill. Do it. Wow. Under <laughs> there you go. Oh. That's that drip. Look at that waterfall. Let it drip. Let it drip. All right. Okay. Enjoy, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Please have a bite and tell us what you think. <coughs> um, okay, you got Jill. Yeah. You have to eat well. Let's first, see what it is. First, first and foremost, breakfast club in Nigeria. Nigeria. First and foremost, you have to say Bismillah, Rahman, <laughs> Rahim. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna try the pancake first. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try both. Okay. I'm gonna mm -hmm. stack the chicken. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you think? How do? It's good. Mm. 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 Really the chili sauce. Mm. 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 The chili sauce. Yeah. See, and then it's savory. Mm. Okay. It's savory. It's very savory. Mm. It has a, can mm. you, I bet can you fry eggs? Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it has, a, it has a sweet in the middle taste. You know, when you cut the pancake in the middle and then you put oh, yeah. the chicken. This is good. It's very, you know very good. Yeah, this, this commentary guy. on this food may not end. Oh, I bet my boys my boy won't chop. Let's keep the commentary rolling while we're around. Always want top two. While we rounding up the okay. show, thank you so much. Uh, you well done. Yeah. Yeah. So said, we oh, hope you learned. You followed us throughout the show while uh, Chef Katie was making this. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's pretty simple. Yeah. Very simple meal, and uh, he's done a great job. Delicious. Have a taste of it. Very tasty. Very nice. A big thank you to Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. Yes, indeed, and of course a big shout out to everyone who tuned in. 
all through the year last year we have a great year planned just for you yeah. and we would love for you to be part of it with us and happy new year happy to everybody new year. Uh, you know uh, all of you out there no, yeah, thank no you so much to, to everybody prayer. and uh, here's wishing you uh, a very special year full of blessings full of peace full of uh, health amen. amen lots of money amen lots of progress amen. towards uh, perfection in everything that amen. you do Man. Very good. Very done. Mm. Have a All great right. day, y'all. See you tomorrow. Bye.